guys welcome back for those of you that are new my name is Anna welcome for those of you that are returning welcome back so today I was taking advantage of the rainy weather by putting together the shoe rack that has been half put together sitting in my closet for weeks now and I'm not kidding you I do mean weeks um, do you ever have a room in your house or an area in your house where you're just overwhelmed and you just can't find the energy to tackle it or the mental capacity um, that you need to organize it. That's pretty much my closet. Um, it's a big area and we dump a lot in there. And so it's just been really overwhelming, mostly because I don't have proper storage in there. Um, and that is something that I realize I'm going to need to start working on. But I do need to make sense of it. Also, there's a lot of things in there that don't belong. Um, things that I'm hanging on to that I don't need to be hanging on to. And so we're going to tackle that today. But it is a lot messier than I showed you in the sneak peek in my last video. Um, I gave you guys a sneak peek of what's coming. <laughs> and um, it is a... It is a um, a lot messier just because well that's what it is but anyways um so here is a look of the cabinet and here is a look of the disastrous closet um as if this side isn't bad enough um wait until we get a look to the next side now the clothes i can explain <laughs> i have been doing laundry and um just piling it up on that shoe rack um, and so, you know, when I went to take, take it into the bedroom to put it together, I threw everything on the floor. But nonetheless, it's still a disaster. So we're going to start by taking everything out of the closet so that I have a clean slate. I'm not going to be taking the hanging clothes because that's a video in itself. Um, but I am going to take everything else out and we're going to get this area all clean and organized. So sit back, enjoy, and I will pop in and out of the video as I feel like I need to. And I got all these clothes taken care of. I still have to hang that up. I have all these shoes. I bought a shoe rack. So I'm going to put the shoe rack here, which is right next to the opening. But it's the only wall in here that we have. So I'm going to put that here and get all the shoes, all of these shoes up off the ground. And then um, I'm going to take everything off of here. So I'm sure it needs a good dusting. And kind of see what I'm going to do with everything. I'm going to start getting rid of stuff. Um, this is my son and daughter-in-law's um, 
clothes. They don't have a big closet in their room downstairs. It's a smaller closet. So I gifted them this side of my closet because I have I have a lot of space in here, um, you know, for our clothes. So I gifted them this side for their clothes. So I'm just going to kind of make that make sense so it's prettier <laughs> for me to look at. Um, she said she wants to go through that. That's an air mattress. That's the baby's clothes that she doesn't fit into yet. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to empty out one of these baskets and use it for all of these hats because I, I figure out what to do. This is all the nonsense that, you know, I don't know what to do with. So we'll figure that out. We'll get a home. But I have this box my husband just brought from the apartment. That's knitting. That's a luggage. Um, luggage, luggage. The two Christmas trees, my son's guitars, which go in the garage, but we're having a Halloween party. Um, you know, this the this Friday. It's the Friday we we are Tuesday before Halloween, so we're having a party this Friday. And he didn't want these in the garage or out where the kids could mess with them, so they're he's just storing them in the closet right now for that. Um, but I have all of this to contend with. Um, that goes above the fireplace, but if you saw my little short um, Halloween, well, I don't know if I'm going to put that up or not. I haven't decided. I taped us decorating for our Halloween party. I don't know if I'm going to put that up or not, but we decorated the whole mantle and everything, and so we took this down. That goes above my fireplace. That's art above my fireplace. I have um, these from when I did my bedroom makeover. I, I changed out my lampshades, so I have these two lampshades. i got to find a home for those. That little piece of decor. Those pillows go up on the bed. I haven't made my bed completely. Um, this is all my Christmas decor. I need to get tubs for this. Um, I'll, I'll do that this week so that everything has a home, but it's all just kind of stored here because I did a huge... Christmas decor haul, um, if you haven't seen that, to see everything I got, because it's a brand new home. I have this basket here that I brought from upstairs um, when I did my um, closet clean out, and it just has a bunch of our shoes, which I should probably take with me now, and this is donation. So we have a box here, and when it gets full, we're going to take it to a thrift store or donation center. Um, my daughter-in-law's been going through all the boys' clothes, so... Anyways, I have all of this mess here, um, and let me show you this is the shoe wrap that I got. So I'm going to see how many pairs of shoes I can fit on here. And then I have this area rug that used to go in my... Um, in my bedroom that I have rolled up in here and I was thinking I might put it down in here in the closet because it's the closet's big enough it's a big closet <laughs> um, potentially we'd like to redo this whole closet with storage systems and an island and all that kind of stuff but that's not going to happen anytime soon so I'm going to put this down and see how it looks but I want to get all these shoes put up on that rack get all of this stuff out of here vacuum put that rug and then we'll start kind of going over this stuff I don't know you guys I'm overwhelmed I'm completely overwhelmed but we will get it done so let's get started you think you know me say I'm as cold hearted as they come you think I'm slowly
like the way the rug looks in here. Um, I might be moving the ottoman that I have in my bedroom into here. It just depends. I did order my chairs and they come on um, the 30th of October. Um, so I'll show you guys. I'll make sure to show you guys those when they come. Um, but I did order my chairs, so I'm so excited about that. So I don't know how the ottoman's going to work in there, if it's going to fit or not, or it's going to be, you know, look good. Um, so I may move that into the closet and just go with like those poofs for the chairs. Not sure yet. But here is a look at what the closet looked like before. Just to remind you guys, I just want to encourage you to tackle something like this it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was it wasn't going you know it didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to take um, so I want to encourage you to tackle a space like this and here is the after I just wanted to remind you of the before just so you could see the after it feels so much better now to walk in here and have the shoes up off the floor. Although it's not a permanent place for the shoes, I would like to have something more permanent for those. But this works for now, and it was pretty inexpensive on Amazon. I need to go through the clothes. Um, that is just uh, reality, you know, something that you have to do um, pretty often in your closet is go through um, go through your clothes and... Um, make sure that you know you're not hoarding <laughs> clothes that you're not going to wear now I'm just going to take off all of the pillow covers and go through the pillows um, that were in there um, and get them all washed the pillow color covers washed um, and the pillows that don't have um, the removable covers we're going to get those washed so that we can get those ready for the holidays and that's going to do it guys um, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the um, aftermath and what it actually looks like because I don't want any false I don't want you guys to think that you know I want you guys to see what I did with everything the reality of what um, it looks like afterwards okay guys so Everything is cleaned out of the bathroom and out of the bedroom, except for that, which is why I gotta put these clothes back in the dresser, but this goes back above the fireplace, but nothing else is in here. I'm gonna get tubs for that. Decided to throw these away. There's a dumpster nearby. I'm gonna go dump those in. And this is the donate pile from the closet. And this is the trash from the closet. And this is the reality. So I put the decor up there that doesn't have a home. I don't want those lampshades to get ruined and I think they're perfectly fine. I've already showed you all of this. I ended up putting the office stuff over here because it's behind the door and I don't have to look at it. But that's really my only option right now. I need better storage for it, so I need to look for something online. If you have any ideas, let me know. There's the two Christmas trees. There's one behind there. Um, the pillows and the pillow inserts. They suck the air out of. I already told you the guitars are going back in the garage. I put all my knitting in this basket. And then there's my shredder. So we don't have an office, so this is as good as it's going to get. But I am so happy with it and so happy that it's done. Um, you know, it isn't perfect, but so much better than what it was. So I'm a hot, sweaty mess. <laughs> But I am so happy that I got that done. I'm so happy that it's it's totally organized. Um, you know, I know what's in there and what's not supposed to be in there is no longer in there. So that makes me really happy. Um, anyways, I hope that this inspired you to tackle a space. I did not want to do that, you guys. I've been putting that off for weeks and the longer I put it off, the worse it got. And I didn't want to clean it, you know, like do a half, um, halfway job on it just to make myself feel better. Uh, because I think that it's enjoyable to watch something really disastrous 
get clean. So <laughs> it's been killing me, but I want to thank you so much for watching today. I hope that it inspired you and I will see you in the next video. We'll see you then. Bye guys.